there and welcome back to my channel monica Pires here all right so as you guys all know i'm a hormone and functional health coach and i just wanted to kind of bring awareness to the concept that is hormones a lot of people don't understand hormones and they kind of get a little bit freaked out they think it has to do with fertility or they think it has to do with menopause and the truth is that we all have hormones they are basically the essence of everything that we do in our body so it doesn't matter how old you are you need to make sure that your hormones are in a good place and balance in order not only to to lose weight but to just feel great hormones can cause diseases um if they're off balanced there's a lot of things that hormones can do because they basically are like the bad bitch of it all <laughs> they basically tell our bodies exactly how to act what to do if your hormones are imbalanced and you have a really high estrogen you can get breast cancer so it's a huge deal that i think a lot of people don't really understand and when it comes to weight loss people just think it's basically what you eat and how you exercise and that is not the truth over the years we have come to realize that it is much more than that in order to be successful and to be sustainable it's about your metabolism your insulin your hormone production your adrenals there is so much that comes into play that it's not just about calories in versus calories out as a matter of fact because of that theory is the reason why people are unhealthier now and much fatter so it's because of that theory so i just wanted to break that off and kind of give you guys the knowledge that I did not know when I was starting off in the fitness industry and why I have so many issues that I do now with hormones um, and I'm fixing it and now as a hormone coach, it kind of just like fascinates me and I wanna give you some of that knowledge. So one of the questions that I get is, if you have low hormone levels, why do you gain weight when trying to heal with hormone plate replacement? So normally with the water, it hold, it goes extracellular, so it's outside of the cell. And then after about three to six weeks, it moves onto intracellular. So it starts going inside the cell. Like I said, that's not really the path that I would like to go. But however, some natural ways that you can do to support them are like yams or supplements. They're less likely to do this water um, weight gain which is why sometimes you'll see that people looked a little bit inflamed. It's just really water weight. It, it does go down after three to six weeks. I'm more of a natural approach. Um, and like I said, yams, supplements, they don't really do this. Also, something else that I love and send to a lot of my clients is Progesterone Plus. It's from Young Living. Um, basically, it doesn't come like this. You can either do drops or I just put the roller and you're just gonna put it like on your forearms twice a day this comes from yam this um this oil is from yam so it's derived from yam i mean i would still tell you to have some yam uh internally but this is a great supplement that a lot of my clients use as well as chaster berry that's for progesterone that those are some natural ways but like i said if it comes to the point where the natural way is not really helping you and you do need that hormone placement then just know that it's water weight it's not necessarily fat and your weight should be back to normal in a couple weeks so thank you so much for the questions if you have any more questions please answer them below and i will be sure to get to them i will be posting these videos on tuesdays from now on they are our hormone talk